Let me take a minute to talk about uh, the budget. Uh, it's not something I would usually bring to you, but you're going to hear a lot about it in Washington, D.C. Number one, let me tell you, I don't want you to worry about the budget, especially those of you out there operating among the forces. I'm going to do everything in my power to make what we're doing back here in the budget in Washington, D.C. invisible to you and sort of transparent. But here's the deal. We have been operating since October on the same level of funding as the year before, as 2012. And that's not enough money to get us through the year. So we need to kind of ratchet down or slow down some of the operations, some of the less critical operations, and you'll see us taking those actions in the future. But again, if you're on deployment, if you're out in a, on an IA or you're getting ready for deployment, you'll receive the support and the resources that you need. So we'll be taking some action back here as we look to the future in order to comply with the law called the Budget Control Act. Uh, it will involve probably some changes in what we buy and how much we buy. It will involve some changes in some non-deployed operations, but we'll keep you informed in what it means. A little bit about your benefits. Your pay, military pay, will be unchanged throughout uh, this process, this budgetary process. Uh, you are exempt from sequestration if you're in military uniform. Your pay is. Uh, your benefits, medical, your benefits, retirement, as we talked about before, they will be un untouched during this process. If you're in uniform, you're in the retirement system that we know and love right now. If you're in uniform, your medical will remain the same as it is now. We will probably review, re review retirement medical benefits, and that'll be a topic of, of a future discussion. Uh, I am very serious about protecting family readiness programs, fleet family service centers, uh, things for education in that regard. We'll take a hard look at it, but I'm very concerned and I want to make sure that we take care of your families who are taking care of you, and we'll look at that very closely. So again, uh, I want you to worry about operations. I want you to worry about war fighting first, operating forward, and being ready. You leave the rest to us, we'll take care of that part. Uh, and more on this later. I'll see you out there in the fleet.